In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a basic template at FlixPress.com from beginning to end. And I'll choose the white angle template to get us going here. Choose Next to begin customizing. Now I've read these instructions, so I'll confirm that I have and move along. This template uses images, so I'll find one on my hard drive that works for my particular needs and click Upload. I don't need to crop my image, so I'll click Next. Now, if you need a little bit of help on the editing screen, you can use the instructional video located on the right-hand side of the screen here, but I'm just going to breeze through this. So I'll drag my image into the image container, edit my text, choose a song, And I'm going to render a preview, just to be sure that I've got everything exactly the way it needs to be. So I'll click Render Preview. And if you haven't taken a second to like us on Facebook, we'd really appreciate it if you did that while your video was rendering. In my case, I'm going to click View My Previews. And you'll see that the preview is ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and click the thumbnail so I can watch my preview and just make sure everything is the way I want it. Now here I'm about to notice that I've made a typo. I've misspelled the word video, and come to think of it, that image is not quite right. I'd like to use something slightly different. So if I just wanted to correct my typo, I could click the Edit button. But since I want to change my image as well, I'll go ahead and click Add Images. I'll find an image that's a little bit better suited to this project, upload that one, no need to crop. Remove the previous one by clicking the X, drag the new one in, and fix that typo. Now, I know everything's ready to go here. I only had two problems I wanted to fix, and I fixed them. So I'm going to uncheck the preview box. I'm going to go ahead and get my video rendered in HD, and I'm going to extend the hosting on the video, which means that it'll be available on FlixPress.com for 30 days instead of 10. This will allow me to email links of the video to my friends so that they can check it out maybe before I decide to make it public or use it however I want to use it. So I'll click Place Order and I'll confirm that yes, I want to charge my account. Again, we'd really appreciate it if you like us on Facebook. Now I'm going to go to View My Orders. That'll take me to the Orders tab of the My Account page. Rendering time varies based on how many people are using our service, so you can either wait on this screen, as I have done here, or you can just come back after you receive your email letting you know that your render is complete. Now, obviously, this one has finished, so we can move on. So I'll go ahead and click More Options and click to download the video in HD onto my hard drive. So now that I've done that, I've got my video available to me on my computer. If I'd like to share it to YouTube, I can either manually upload it to YouTube, or I can use our built-in uploader here at FlixPress by clicking that button right there. Now, I'm happy with the default values just because I'm showing you how this works, so I'll click Upload. The first time you try to use the video uploader for YouTube, you might be asked to sign into your Google account. And you can see here that my video has been uploaded successfully. Now, if you get an error message, it's likely because your Google account doesn't actually have access to YouTube, which you can change on your own by going to youtube.com, or your YouTube account doesn't have a channel for uploading videos yet. So basically, if you can upload videos to YouTube's website, it should work through our video uploader as well. Now, if I'd like to share my video with my friends and family or colleagues and clients before I make it public or for any other reason at all, I can click this email icon here, which will give me a link that I can send people to, which will show them my video. I'm going to go ahead and copy that to my clipboard. And I'll show you what that link looks like if I navigate to it through my web browser. So as you can see, it's a Flix Press page that allows you to view the video you've created. 
So now the last thing you may need to know is how to convert your video in case you need it in a WMV format or an MOV format. In case you want to do that, you click this gear icon. I'm going to choose to convert my HD file, as opposed to my standard definition file, to an MOV format. Now, you probably won't have to do this. It's very rare to come across a device that doesn't understand the format that we send you, which is an MP4. But in case you need it, it is here for you. So I'll click Convert to MOV, and then Download File. And it's that easy. Now I've got both the MP4 and the MOV files on my computer. If you have any problems with your rendering, you can always report a problem via this button here, which will send you to our support form. Thanks so much for using FlixPress.com to create incredible video online.